Welcome computer vision engineers and everyone who is interested in advanced video analytics. We will be speaking how a lot of startups in advanced video analytics around the world can bridge the gap between research and industrialization of their solutions. As a computer vision engineer, I would love to retrieve images from different types of cameras, both industrial and web cameras, or maybe from a stream of video. Exactly for these use cases, we have a very great library that is called GStreamer. GStreamer is a quite old library, open source. First releases were 20 years ago. It's written in C and C++. It's a pipeline-based multimedia framework that will help you read and process different types of medias. The architecture of GStreamer is quite general, so it can process both video, audio, and even some special signals. As example, we can take a legal laboratory that uses GStreamer to simulate and analyze gravitational wave data. Main advantages of GStreamer is that it's fast, flexible, and multi-platform multimedia framework. Let's go through the main abstractions of GStreamer, which are elements, paths, bins and pipelines, and also a couple of abstractions for communication. Let's start from the elements, which is a building block for every GStreamer pipeline. Elements can also be considered as plugins. The streamer has a lot of standard elements, which implements the functionality that will cover 99% of use cases. But each element has input and output. And it should understand what type of uh, media it will consume and what type of media it will output. So paths will define formats for input and output of multimedia. And we, it will help GStreamer to connect different elements. Bins is a container collection for elements. Pipeline is a top level bin that will contain all the elements that you want inside your pipeline and will accept commands to start pipeline and to pause it. Here is an example of a pipeline that will try to read OGG file from source. Then we will use the Muxer element to split the signal into video and audio. Vorbis decoder to decode audio signal and output it. And we will use Theora decoder to decode the video signal and play it on our display. This is a very basic pipeline. We will see a couple of examples uh, of more advanced. We will not go into the details how to develop these elements, but we will try to work our way to how to build and run simple pipelines. For that, GStreamer provides uh, a couple of tools to build and debug simple pipelines. And I, we should recall that our main goal as a computer vision engineer just to retrieve images from some source. It might be a as a video file or some industrial camera with a special format, or it might be some streaming services. Tool that we will use to build such pipelines and to test them inside command line interface is called GST Launch. Let's see how we build a simple GST Launch pipeline inside command line interface. We use GST Launch command. Then we have the names of our elements separated by exclamation mark. Here, pipeline consists of three elements. Source element, which will provide a test video. Video convert element, which provides the conversion between multiple uh, types of uh, multimedia. And auto video sync is a simple sync element that display a test video on our screens. I prepared a docker file with installed dependencies for GStreamer that you can use to run this pipeline and to test 
your understanding of uh, basic abstractions of GStreamer. We have a simple pipeline and this file is also accessible in the repository that you will find in the description down below. We see that the simple GST launch pipeline is working and we see the output of video test source which gives this test video. Let's see another pipeline. So second pipeline shows you how to use parameters for elements of a GStreamer pipeline and how to use uh, capabilities filter. This pipeline consists of five elements, video test source, video convert, video scale, and auto video sync. We use video scale to change the size of the video test source parameter. And we use this syntaxes to provide capabilities a filter that will explain to video scale to which far format we want to convert uh, our input. Let's see how it will work. So we see a huge pattern which was requested by the parameter pattern name. And we also see that the size of the video changed in comparison to the previous example. This size was given by capabilities filters for video scale pipeline. So the next uh, command line interface tool that we need to see is GST inspect. You will find the description in GStreamer documentation. Basically, this tool is used to uh, see the documentation of uh, different elements with their parameters inside the command line interface directly. You can also go and check out the documentation for different elements on the website. We can use GST inspect to see, for example, a video test source element. And this will give you different parameters that you can use to choose what kind of pattern you want to project as a video. Uh, you see the parameter name and some uh, values for this parameter. Let's uh, generate a video test with a checker parameter, which has value 7. We can reuse our pipeline and change the value of our pattern to 7. And we see the first checker parameter. This element, video test source, might be useful to test uh, your pipelines without thinking about what kind of video you need to use. As a way to look at the documentation of video test source is to, to just Google GStreamer video test source and see the documentation on the official website. That will give you all the properties and the short description as a GST inspect. As our main goal is to retrieve frames from different sources, let's see another element that controls web camera connected to the computer. This element is platform dependent. For Linux, the name of the element will be v4l2 source. Let's run this pipeline. You see that we have a connection to uh, web camera and we also control the size of the output. We looked at different uh, simple pipelines, how to run and output test videos. Right now we will see a couple of elements that will help to process video. Here is an example of that pipeline where we will use uh, one filter element that will process our video test source 
and will retrieve edges from the input file. Let's see how it works. And you see that it will do exactly what it's supposed to do, which is to retrieve edges from the template uh, of video test source. Let's take a look at more advanced pipeline that will help us to retrieve videos from many different locations. It could be a RTSP stream, it could be some file server, or it could be some web server that hosts our video. This element called URI decode bin, which will construct automatically underlying pipeline depending on the input of uh, URI parameter. After this element, we will add video scale, video convert, and auto video sync to display uh, the video properly. So in this case, we resized video to the size of uh, 320 to 200, and we output this video in a small preview with auto video sync. URI decode bin is uh, useful when you don't know how to construct proper pipeline for your particular source of the video. You are ready to use automatically constructed pipeline with GStreamer. To better understand the construction of our pipelines, we can use debugging capabilities of GStream in order to draw the whole graph of the pipeline and to see what kind of elements were connected uh, and what kind of capabilities they share. In order to do that, you can go through the tutorial about debugging tools and you will see how we can get the graph of the pipeline. We just need to initialize the environment variable gstdebugdump.dir and then convert the dot file to the image file of your choice. Let's convert simple pipeline to the image. We define the variable, we run the pipeline, and then we can find in our directory different dot files. Let's convert plain post file into an image. So this is constructed pipeline. Let's analyze what we have. In a simple pipeline, as expected, we have only three elements, video test source, video convert, and auto video sync, which we will find in the graph diagram. Video test source is a source element and has only one source path, which will define the output of the element. Video convert is a filter element, which has both sync path for input and source pad for output. And we also have auto video sync element, which choose a GST XV image sync to output image on the display. You can also see between elements the capabilities with the parameters of the videos that were chosen for the pipeline. Let's see more advanced pipeline and how it will construct the retrieval of the video from the URI. So let's clear the directory from dot .files. And we can also remove SVG files. We will run our pipeline with gstdebugdump.dir. We will ensure that pipeline is running. And we will convert post plain dot 
file into the output. Let's see which pipeline was constructed by URID code bin. And you will see how many effort can be economized by using Restreamer pipeline. We see a very large pipeline. If you will take a closer look, all these first elements which were, were constructed under URID code bin are created for retrieval of the video. And after that, we have our end of our pipeline with queue, video scale, video convert, and auto video sync. Let's see our pipeline from the beginning because URI was from web server. Uh, URI decode bin we will use GST sub HTTP source and URI decode bin understands that automatically and use that. Today we introduced Restreamer library which will help you to industrialize your computer vision solutions for advanced video analytics applications. In the next video we will see how to retrieve frames from Restreamer pipelines inside Python by using OpenCV. If you want to learn more about Analyzing, analyzing real-world streams from YouTube video, you can click on this video. To learn more about advanced video analytics solutions, subscribe to Computer Vision Stream channel, and we will see you in the next videos.